The first time I saw the view from top of Rennebrücken, all I could think was, this is insanely beautiful and I want to be here again. And that's exactly what I did. I came back and this time with a different energy, different motivation and some beautiful people who share the same passion as me. This is Rennebrücken. It is one of the most famous viewpoints in Norway with an absolutely insane view from the summit. And this is me, walking on top of it for the second time. And if I have to come back again, I will definitely do so. But before I tell you how I got here, let me take you back a bit and tell you the story. This time, I came with this wonderful group of people. We all share a love for nature and we all love to go on crazy adventure. Let me introduce you to the people in this story. This is Devika. She is the craziest one in the gang. She is always super focused when taking pictures, which turns out good sometimes. <laughs> she is adventurous and never say no to crazy ideas. <laughs> and this right here is Nikki, my better half. She likes to get her pictures taken, so she is always ready to pose. She is the one who struggles the most on hikes. Devika always takes good care of her though. After all, they are the crazy duo. The conversation never ends, neither does their craziness. And this is Bisaldai, the calm one in the gang. He loves climbing rocks, sitting on rocks, and admiring the view from, yeah, you guessed it, rocks. He's also my go-to partner for seeking out the craziest of adventure. This is me, and this is my amazing gang. And we are ready to set on an adventure filled with happiness and love. Our journey began in Oslo, where we packed our bags, took a train, a flight and finally arrived in the charming northern Norwegian city of Buda. Where Bisal had a special day, his graduation ceremony. We were there to celebrate this special occasion with him. He was happy and so were we. As soon as the ceremony was over, we laced up our shoes and headed straight to the ferry station to catch our ride to the beautiful island of Lofoten. Everybody was excited for this trip, especially Devika. She was super hyped. After a four hour ferry ride from Buddha, we reached the village of Moskenas. From there, we took a taxi to our resting spot in Rene village. Our initial plan was to climb Rene Brigand the same day, but the weather wasn't ideal, so we decided to spend the night there. Next day, waking up to the beautiful view of Rene Village with its beautiful landscape of mighty mountains and tiny Norwegian houses. We were energized and ready to tackle the Rene Brigand hike. Today, we were going to reach that top, climbing 1978 steps. So we took our first one. As we began the hike, we were captivated by the beauty of Lopatan, the stunning mountains, lush greenery, wildflowers, and the company of our friends made this one special. The hike was steep, so most of the time we were just walking and walking and walking and walking and taking breaks here and there to soak in the breathtaking view of Lofoten Island. Sometimes it was a bit challenging for the girls though. Sorry to say it, but those short legs can be a disadvantage sometimes. Look at them struggling. <laughs> Thank you.
and Bisaldai was in his element, probably feeling immense pride as he walked on the stairs built by the legendary Sherpas of Nepal. We, as fellow Nepalese, couldn't help but feel a surge of national pride. It's truly remarkable to think that these incredible people, known for their mountain climbing skills, have constructed such a magnificent pathway on this towering mountain. Their skill and dedication are truly inspiring. We couldn't thank them enough for making this extraordinary experience possible and special. As we were climbing the final step, the excitement grew. Our legs were burned, our lungs ached, our heart was pounding. But when we reached the top, the view is absolutely worth it. So people, get ready to be amazed by the stunning landscape of Lofotan. This, my friend, is Rene Brigand for you.